Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is Teletraffic System Model. It is the topic from the subject Cellular Networks. Uh, as far as this session is concerned, we will be discussing what are the different uh, Teletraffic System Models as well as we will derive the expression of Erlang's formula for lost call and we will solve few numericals related to this. First of all, the question related to this topic from the exam point of view is what are the assumptions required for teletraffic system model? There are actually two assumptions. We know that in the last video I have explained you what is the meaning of teletraffic. It is related to the traffic of cell phones. Now why these mathematical models are required? They go. We have discussed the concept of conjunction. Whenever there is a conjunction, whenever there is excess teletraffic, we know that there are chances of uh, call drops as well as your call can be on hold. So, yes, sir, analysis karne ke liye, first of all, we need to calculate what is the busy hours. Busy hours matlab just hour mein, just time period mein, the traffic is maximum and all the uh, channels of that particular thing are busy. So busy hours ka mathematical analysis karne ke liye, those standard models use karenge, those are pure channel traffic and statistical equilibrium. Actually, these are the assumptions uh, for creating the mathematical model. So, first we will talk about pure channel traffic. Deko, number of calls that are arriving is an independent activity. Matlab, you cannot predict at what time the call is arrived in the system. So, you can say it is a memoryless system because it is unpredictable or it is also called as uh, it is not a certain event, it is uncertain event. So, if you are talking about pure channel traffic, as I have told you, memoryless system hai because there is no previous data or there is no previous thing by uh, doing the calculation of that, you can uh, predict ki at this particular uh, time uh, there can be arrival of call. So, it is purely independent of previous data. So, it is a memoryless system. So, I have written points for different points. First is, number of call arrives, arrivals, since these are random in nature, so, we use a formula to analyze this formula, which is called Poison's Distribution. As I have told you, how many calls are arriving in the system, we use to calculate this formula, since it is random in nature, for random things, random events, Poison's Distribution formula is used. The formula is probability of X, where X represents number of call arrivals in time capital T. Capital T is a BG, our time schedule consider karing, us mein kitne calls arrive ho rahe, that is represented by X. So probability of X is equals to mu raise to X. Mu means mean number of call arrivals, mean or average number of call arrivals. So mu raise to X upon X factorial into e raise to minus mu. So this is ba basically exponential thing. So this is the equation of Poisson's distribution. By using this equation, we need to calculate what is the probability of number of call arrivals. Why probability calculate karenge? Because we have not previous data, nahi hai, record. Nahi hai. So we need to make use of the probability to calculate how many number of calls can be uh, can be arrived arrived in a particular time period. Dekho, ye calculation karke, uh, the system management can decide ki infrastructure mein kuch changes karne ya cell structure mein kuch changes karne and so on. Second thing is the time intervals between a random event. Just I have told you, the number of call arrivals are basically random events. So the interval between random events of all call arrivals has negative exponential distribution. But the iska formula probability capital T. What is the capital T? A time period. We will consider karein ge. Just ke liye calculation karein. Let us say busy time period. Capital T greater than or equals to small t is e raise to minus t by capital T bar, where capital T bar is mean interval between call arrivals. The third point is the call duration t has negative exponential distribution. If we assume the call duration of t, then probability of t greater than or equals to t is again negative exponential. Negative exponential means e raise to minus something. So e raise to minus t divided by h where capital H is the holding time. Second assumption is statistical equilibrium. The meaning of this word is 
generation of traffic is stationary random process now this word stationary itself indicates that the generation of traffic in a particular hour is constant almost constant so this is valid in case of a busy hour jaise maine ek graph banaya hai on y axis we have plotted calls in progress and on x axis we are plotting the time in a day for example ye jo time period uh, diagram mein dekha let us say this is 10 am to 11 am and we are assuming that during this hour 10 am to 11 am the traffic is maximum jo is diagram mein dekha hai this is the maximum traffic but since it is the statistical equilibrium condition is it is a stationary random process stationary matlab stand still fix fix random processes so during this hour there is almost stationary traffic almost constant traffic so this is possible or this is applicable only in case of a busy hour in all other hours in all other durations of a time the number of calls in progress are different which are changing but in case of busy hours it remains almost stationary next is the derivation of first arlong distribution for lost call system we know that in earlier videos i have explained you arlong is the unit to measure the cellular traffic lost call ka matlab kya hai jaise dekho if all the trunks in a cellular network are busy to attend other calls and if you try to make a call that call will not be attempted or that call will not be completed it is referred as the lost call it usually happens during the conjunction of a network so this first arlong distribution gives us a ready made formula to do the mathematical analysis uske assumptions kya kya first assumption is pure channel traffic as we have discussed pure channel traffic means the call arrival as well as call termination call arrival as well as call termination are purely independent events they are statically independent events then statical equilibrium just now we have discussed during a busy hour the probability of call arrivals remains almost constant so it is referred as statistical equilibrium full availability this full availability condition indicates that every call will be completed matlab whenever there is a attempt to make a call at that time whatever available channel uh, is there that will be allocated to complete that particular call but practically it is not possible to avail the full availability fourth is calls facing conjunction and gate loss just now i explained you whenever there is a network conjunction and anyone tries to make a call that time the, that particular call faces the conjunction and that call will not be completed that means it get lost in the system now consider that x number of calls are in progress then we can write probability of x is a raised to x upon x factorial p of 0 where x is a variable which is ranging from 0 to capital n and n represents number of trunks this derivation starts with this equation of p of x now let us take summation on both sides summation we will take it from x is equals to 0 to n so we'll take summation on both sides which is equals to summation x is equals to 0 to n a raised to x upon x factorial p of 0 but this lhs term summation is probability of x and x is varying from 0 to 1 so this is the maximum probability whose value is always 1 so instead of lhs since it is the maximum probability i will write 1 therefore i can write p of 0 is equals to 1 upon summation x is equals to 0 to n a raised to x upon x factorial this is the value of p of 0 say this is equation 2 this earlier equation is equation 1 so put the value of uh, p equation 2 i mean put the value of p of 0 that means put equation 2 in equation 1 this p of x can be written as here i will write this equation p of x is equals to a raised to x upon x factorial into p of 0 this is the equation of p of 0 so into p of 0 means into 1 upon Uh, this term summation of x is equals to 0 to n a raised to x upon 
x factorial. This equation I got after putting equation 2 in equation 3. It is 1 upon this thing. So it is simply written as a raised to x upon x factorial divided by summation x is equals to 0 to n a raised to x upon x factorial. Now to avoid the confusion in the denominator in place of x I will be using notation k just to avoid the confusion so this equation becomes x k badde mein k use karenge a raised to k and in the numerator look at the maximum value of x maximum value of x x actually represents number of calls maximum value of x can be equals to or is equals to n where capital n where n represents number of trunks so if i put the maximum value this equation will be a raised to n upon n factorial so this is the equation of a uh, probability of x actually this is called the first arlong distribution formula and it is also giving the value of grade of service so this equation is also denoted by this p of x can be also denoted by e1 comma n of a or it is also denoted by notation b because it is giving the value of grade of service let us solve one numerical to get an idea of this first arlong distribution formula given problem is a group of five trunks offers two arlongs of traffic now group of five terms means value of n is given as 5 and a represents value in r lungs. r lung is the unit to measure traffic a is equals to 2 fine first part gos grade of service second probability that only one trunk is busy third part probability that only one trunk is free fourth part probability that at least one trunk is free now first part grade of service i have written the formula which we have just now derived it is denoted by b and which is a raised to n upon n factorial summation k is equals to 0 to n a raised to k upon k factorial so in this equation this formula can be written as 2 raised to 5 because value of a is 2 that is traffic in our lungs n is equals to 5 divided by 5 factorial divided by summation k is equals to 0 to n a value of a is 2 2 raised to k upon k factorial now this i need to simplify it this is 2 raised to 5 upon 5 factorial divided by ye summation expand karenge kaise expand karna hai k ka value hai 0 to n look at this summation k 0 to n and, and in this case n is 5 so limits of summation becomes 0 to 5 so we need to different we need to put different values of k from 0 to 5 jaise pehle k 0 put karenge so you will get 2 raised to 0 upon 0 factorial plus uske baad k is equals to 1 put karenge 2 raised to 1 upon 1 factorial next plus 2 raised to 2 upon 2 factorial every time i am putting value of k 0 1 2 3 4 5 like this plus 2 raised to 3 upon 3 factorial plus 2 raised to 4 upon 4 factorial plus 2 raised to 5 upon 5 factorial ये सब आप लोगों को कैलकुलेटर पे सॉल्व करने सिंपलिसिटी के लिए न्यूमरेटर टर्म अलग से सॉल्व कर लो डिनोमिनेटर टर्म अलग से सॉल्व कर लो सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस ऑन द कैलकुलेटर यू विल गेट दिस आंसर ऑफ फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इक्वल्स टू 0.037 so it is the value of b actually it is the value of uh, probability of 5 so this is the first part that we have calculated grade of service now second part look at the second part in the second part what is asked calculate probability that only one trunk is busy now very simple this value actually gives the value of probability probability or, or probability of 5 is me kya mention kya calculate the probability that only one trunk is busy only one trunk is busy that means we have to take value of n is me me lik yaha pe likta hu n is equals to 1 jaise first case me humne ye uh, kiya tha gof calculate kiya tha matlab all trunks are busy so we took n is equals to 5 in this case we will have to take n is equals to 1 so this formula becomes probability of 1 because only one trunk is busy is equals to same equation I am using a that is 2 value of a remains same 
टू रेस्ट टू एन इज वन अपॉन एन फैक्टोरियल एन इज वन सो इट इज अपॉन वन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय समेशन के इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन सो इट इज जीरो टू वन ए वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज टू टू रेस्ट टू के अपॉन के फैक्टोरियल so very simple it is 2 raised to 1 upon 1 factorial divided by yes summation expand karenge 2 raised to 0 upon 0 factorial plus 2 raised to 1 upon 1 factorial kyunki hame k ka value put kar rahe hai 0 to 1 aise if you solve this on the calculator this answer jaise maine bataya numerator aur denominator uh, separately solve kar lo to simple ho jayega 0.275 so this is the answer of second part in which we have calculated the probability that only one trunk is uh, busy third part calculate the probability that only one trunk is free ab dekho only one trunk is free total number of trunks are five only one trunk is free means in another language four trunks are busy bahut simple hai dekho ek trunk free hai total five trunks hai iska matlab hame calculate karna hai probability of four four trunks busy hai ye probability calculate karna hai so simple technique yahan se n is equals to 1 liya tha <coughs> likewise take n is equals to 4 so wherever n is there put n is equals to 4 uh, so you will get uh, yahan pe main changes karke likhta hu so this formula can be written as probability of 4 is equals to a that is 2 raised to 4 upon 4 factorial divided by summation k is equals to 0 to 4 0 to 4 a that is 2 raised to k upon k factorial same formula i am using just वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज चेंज जैसे हमने ये सोल्व किया था वैसे समेचन अभी जीरो टू फोर तक कैलकुलेट करना है एंड यू जस्ट हाउ टू डू द कैलकुलेशन ऑन द कैलकुलेटर सो दिस आंसर विल बी पॉइंट नॉट नाइन वन सेवन फोर पॉइंट नॉट नाइन वन सेवन फोर दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ अ थर्ड पार्ट नाउ लास्ट पार्ट प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट एटलीस्ट वन ट्रंक इज फ्री सो इट इज अगेन सिंपल एटलीस्ट वन ट्रंक इज फ्री दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट प्रोबेबिलिटी of n less than 5 at least one trunk is free so it is probability of n less than 5 or in another language you need to calculate 1 minus probability of 5 very simple in in first case we have calculated gos that is we have actually calculated probability of 5 so at least one trunk is free means remember it like this 1 minus probability of 5 so it will give you probability that at least one trunk is free so it is 1 minus answer of first part that is 0.037 so this answer is 0.967 so this is the way how you can use the uh, arlong distribution formula to solve the numericals so dear students uh, that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video